babes, welcome to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm back with a new Get the Look tutorial featuring the brand new Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Now if you haven't already seen, I do have a video up already with a full overview of all the products in the Naked Cherry Collection. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about those products, products and everything in the collection as well as possibly enter to win some of the items from that collection. I am doing a giveaway over in that video. Be sure to check the description box. I will have um, that giveaway linked and I'll have the video linked probably in the eye as well as in the description box as well. So I definitely encourage you to go over there and watch that video. But today we are doing a tutorial using the palette for this pretty pink sparkly liner look. This is actually a recreation of the very first look I did with this palette. I love the way it turned out so much that I knew that I wanted to recreate this look in a tutorial for you guys, so I really hope you guys love it. But I also created several different looks. I'll probably put some photos on the screen here for you guys to be able to see all the different looks I've done because I played with this all last week and tried to create a bunch of different looks and play with all the colors and things like that. So you can create all kinds of different looks from almost like peachy looks to to very neutral looks, to some smoky looks, to some pinky looks, as well as like those more rich um, burgundy red kind of tone looks. Um, I find surprisingly that it's a pretty versatile palette and I've been loving using it lately. So I hope to do some more uh, tutorials with it in the future. So if you'd like to see more tutorials with this palette, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know which shades you'd like to see me use next. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alright guys, to start, I do already have my brows on, as you can see, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and set, this first part is just optional, I just have been liking to do this lately, I kind of go back and forth between doing this, sometimes I do it all the time, sometimes I never do it, I don't know, um, but anyways, I'm just going to go in with the first uh, like creamy shade here um, called Hot Spot, and I'm going to be taking that on a very big fluffy brush, this is this Delazi fluff, large fluff brush, and I'm just going to be... I'm placing that all over my lid from lash line to brow bone just to kind of set the concealer that's on my lids. All right, now I'm going to be going into the shade Feels. I'm going to be taking that on a very fluffy, soft brush. This is the Stelazi Crease Blender, the L215. And I'm going to be applying that into my crease and transition area. Now I'm going to be going into the shade Bing with a slightly smaller blending brush. I'll be using the Smith 230. I'm going to be taking that into my crease as well, just slightly lower. I'll focus a lot of the color on the outer corner of my eyes as well. Now just going back doing a little bit more blending with that first brush I used. I'm just going to just lightly blend over those two shades we already have down. Moving right along, I'm going to be going into the shade Bang Bang. Now this shade is a little bit different than the rest of the, the shimmer metallic shadows in this palette um, because it has actual like glitter, like micro glitter in it, so it's a, it's it's not chunky, but it is a little bit chunkier than the rest of the shadows. Um, so it, it doesn't apply, in my opinion, as well. Like when you go to put it on the lid, it kind of shows up really, really sheer. So it definitely needs to be sprayed for that color to really show up. But once you spray it, it looks so, so beautiful. It's such a beautiful color, actually. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and apply it first without spraying it, just so you guys can see what I mean and what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray it to intensify it, just so you guys can see that whole process. So like I said, going into the shade Bang Bang, I'm going to be using the Shadow Fluff brush from Stelazi to apply that to my lid. I imagine if you probably used kind of a more flat, stiffer brush, it might apply a little bit better on its own, but I really just want this to have a soft look, no harsh lines or cut crease kind of look. And if I went in with a like kind of really flat brush, I'd probably get more of a precise lines or a cut crease kind of lines look, and I really, that's not what I'm going for, so that's why I'm kind of using this fluffier brush. Okay, and then I'm actually going to be using the Morphe setting spray to spray my brush with this just because I've tried using it with the Urban Decay setting spray and the Morphe one just works a little bit better. I think it's got that like glycerin in it that really helps to really foil this shadow. 
and it makes such a beautiful difference. And as usual, um, I, like I always say, get the shadow on the brush first and then spray it rather than wetting your brush and then dipping into the shadow because that tends to ruin your eyeshadows. All right, now I just want to add a little bit more depth and dimension to this look, so I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Devilish on the Sulazi Mini Crease Fluff and take that to the outer corner of my eyes and blend just slightly into my crease as well. All right, now I want to add some winged liner, and for that I'm going to be using this kind of like duo um, from Ulta Beauty. This is their Cat Eyeliner Stamp and then their uh, classic felt tip liner. I actually filmed a whole video using um, Ulta Beauty products. That video will probably go up after this one, but so you guys will see these again, but I've actually really been liking this duo and I think it's really neat um, to be able to get that like very easy cat eye. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Now, even though this is like a stamp liner to help you get a more like precise easy quote unquote cat eye look. You still have to kind of make sure you place them both the same way, pointed the same way, kind of as evenly as possible. So while it makes it a little bit easier, you st it still requires a little bit of work too. <laughs> so now that I've got the stamps on, I'm gonna go in with the felt liner and just fill in the rest of the liner. Now I did this kind of glitter liner look in my Ulta video. I really love the way that turned out, so I've copied it for this look. Um, but for this look, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Junk Show, which is this really gorgeous pink and kind of holographic sparkle glitter that's just gonna look so, so beautiful with this look. And what I'm gonna do is take that and kind of do a glitter liner right on top of where I placed the black liner. So we're gonna have this really beautiful double liner, glitter liner kind of a look. What I really love about this is that it kind of helps um, your liner look just a little bit better. So if it's a little uneven, that glitter can kind of help. It kind of um, conceals or masks any imperfections. It just looks like a beautiful glitter liner over top. I just feel like it really adds just like a really nice touch. It doesn't have to be precise at all. Just kind of build it up until you like the intensity of it. All right, so here's what it's looking like so far. Ugh, I just, I love this look. I love the way it's turned out. Um, let's go ahead and wrap up with the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that brush that came with the palette and go into that first shade we used, Feels, and just run that along my lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking a um, flat definer brush into the shade privacy and run that tight to my lower lash line. Now back in with the shade Devilish and the Stelazi Mini Fluff Brush. I'm just gonna diffuse that um, on my lower lash line as well. All right, and the eyes are almost done. I do wanna put on the rest of my face before I do finish them up. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put on my face kind of quickly here with you guys just to kind of show you guys what I've been using. A lot of times I just do my face off camera or do it for an Instagram video. Um, you guys let me know, do you like if I do a full face tutorial as long as I keep it fairly brief? Um, do Would you like to see it in action, me doing the rest of my face on camera or would you prefer for me to just put everything I'm using in the description bar so you guys know. Um, I'd love to know your guys' preference. For today, we're just gonna go ahead and do it on camera together. So up first, I'm gonna be using the uh, SLMD Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This stuff is amazing. It's fairly new to me. Um, hyaluronic acid is not new to me though. I love hyaluronic acid serums. Um, and I got sent this to try and I have been loving it. It's such a intense hydration it feels so so good on the skin and whether you have dry skin normal skin or oily skin your skin definitely always needs to be hydrated and hyaluronic acid is a great skincare ingredient to do that for you this one seriously feels amazing and i've been loving to apply it um before my foundation and then for foundation i've been using an old favorite of mine this is the maybelline a matte and poreless foundation and i'm going to be applying that with the beauty junkies flat top kabuki brush 
And the only one thing I don't necessarily like about this foundation is just the bottle that has no pump. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump a little bit on the brush and apply from there. <laughs> And I am in the shade 220 Natural Beige for anyone curious. Ugh, and I just love how this foundation gives a natural skin-like finish. It's so, so good. All right, next up for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, in the shade Light. And I'm just going to be blending that in with the Beauty Junkies Green Oval Makeup Sponge. All right, now to set, I'm going to be using the Milani Multitasker Face Powder and just a large, fluffy brush. All right, now because I want a little bit more luminosity under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Illuminizer Translucent Pressed Beauty Powder. I'm going to be taking that on the sponge I just used for my concealer and just kind of lightly pressing some of that under my eyes. This gets such a beautiful brightness under there. I just love the way it looks. I'm so sad that I'm almost out of this. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to repurchase. Now really quickly before I move on, I'm gonna set this in place and I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Cherry Scented All Nighter Setting Spray. Of course, gonna be drawing you with my bougie little fan here. I highly recommend this, seriously. They're like super cheap on eBay. Now to bronze up the face, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. I'm also really sad that this is coming to an end as well. This is gonna be one I definitely wanna repurchase again, too. I love this bronzer so much. I feel like a lot of people didn't really like it because it does have shimmer in it, but I'm like, the shimmer doesn't even show up really. I mean, it adds a little bit of luminosity, but not like crazy glitter in your face. I don't know. I love it. It's crazy how once the face comes together, I just start feeling so much more fierce and like, ooh, like I could just do anything, you know? Now for blush, the Balm's Hot Mama. This blush is seriously so pretty. One of my faves. All right, and then one more spritz with some setting spray. Lastly for the face, I'm gonna be using this Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo. Um, this one is the Subtle Sunrise um, Duo, and I'm gonna be using that kind of a lighter goldy shade. I have actually been loving these. I gave one of them away. I was gonna give two of them away, but the the giveaway I did had like so many highlighters in the other package. I was like, oh, I'll just keep one, see what I think. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did. These are amazing. Love them. All right, with the face done, let's go ahead and bring it back around to the eyes. I'm gonna be going into the shade Turn On, taking that on a pencil brush. I'm gonna bring that to the inner corner of my eyes as well as onto my brow bone. All right, now I also do wanna try one of the eyeliner pencils that came in this collection. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Drug Lord and just bring that to my waterline. All right, and that completes it for the eyes. I am gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes. I've been doing all kinds of looks with just mascara lately and I've honestly been loving them. But since I already did this look and just used mascaras, <laughs> and just used mascara, I really wanna see how it would it look with some lashes, I'll just add a touch more glam. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite lashes. These are the Pure Cause Amedics Bombshell Lashes. All right, so here are the eyes complete. I will zoom in to show you guys them up close. And goodness gracious, call me crazy, but I think I kind of almost like the way this look turned out more um, when I had originally done it and only used mascara. Now, of course, Lashes are gorgeous, and I love these lashes, but I don't know. I almost feel like I liked it better with just the mascara. But anyways, I still love the way this turned out. Um, I hope you guys did too. But before we finish this up, I'm going to go ahead and put on a lip product. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to get super creative, but I'm just going to grab one of my favorite lippies lately, and that is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Backtalk. 
All right, and that wraps it up for this look and tutorial. This is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below letting me know your thoughts and if you have any requests or suggestions for any shades you would like me to use in future looks, please let me know. Please also don't forget to check the description box because I will have everything that I use linked down there as well as the giveaway that I have going on with some of the items from the Cherry Collection. So if you want a chance to win, be sure to check down there for all the information. And with all that being said, I just want to thank you so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. <laughs> this is actually the very first... La, 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 la. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, so, and then for... Ah, blah, 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 blah. Mm, just look at that glow. It's like seriously like a wet. Oh, so gorgeous. All right, and that. La. Oh my gosh. Finally got it right. First try. <laughs> I always mess up on that one, I swear. Alright, and this... Come on, brighten up a little bit. There we go. Oh, I love it! I don't know where that's from, but that just got stuck in my head for a second. Oh, this would actually be good for, like, posing. Let's get some wind going. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. For the first time. I'm in forever. <sighs> right over top the very the outer edge. But I'll probably have to hold off just because I have so many bronzers I need to use up first. <laughs> um, but today I want to do a so freaking pale gray what the heck one of my faves so if you want to see that be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your recommendation <laughs> so you're gonna have a little bit of the black liner Luke, i am your father <laughs> just kidding i've never seen star wars don't kill me I'm going to be taking the and just bring that to my lower lash line um, and just bring that to my waterline. So if you want to see more from La, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray it and, and, and 